Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Quarantine Kitchen. I'm your host Paul Desmond and it's always great to see you. In the last video I made something that I had never made before which did break my rule but they came out very well so for those of you who tried them out I hope you enjoyed them as much as we did. For a while now I've wanted to make a breakfast video and then I remembered that the very first thing I ever learned how to cook when I was six years old was pancakes. So today we're gonna make some bacon blueberry pancakes. I can't wait. To make my bacon blueberry pancakes we will need some bacon of course, some blueberries, we'll need some flour, a little bit of olive oil, baking powder, an egg or two, we'll see, our old friend salt, we'll need some milk, and finish it off with some maple syrup. I know what you're thinking, but no I'm not gonna put garlic in pancakes. And you'll notice that I'll take even more liberties with the measurements. Like I said, I've been making this recipe since I was six years old, so I kinda just learned how to make it by eye. I have a nose for this sort of thing, so we'll play it by ear. Enough facial feature cliches, let's wash our hands and the blueberries and get into it. Start with the bacon. Cooking bacon in the oven is an amazing thing. Lay the pieces out on a cookie sheet covered in foil. Then get them into the oven at 450 for about 15 minutes. To get the batter going, dump some flour in a bowl. Then drop in some baking powder, baking powder, and throw in some salt. You don't need much. Mix that together. We start with one egg, which turned out to be enough, and grab the olive oil. Again, you don't need much. Mix that in too. Block the camera with a gallon of milk, but be sure to pour a little bit into the bowl. Stir it in thoroughly until it looks like pancake batter. Give it the spoon test. This is when you take a spoonful of batter and watch it drop off to see how thick it is. This is too runny, so we need to add more flour. Stir that in to thicken it up. Look for a slower, consistent flow. That's better. Now we can toss in some blueberries. It's hard not to put the whole container in, but remember, we need to leave room for the bacon. Stir those in too. By now, the bacon should be ready. Get the bacon out of the oven. Mmm, bacon. Set each piece aside on a paper towel and dry them off. Pat them down with another paper towel. Keep an eye out for the random hand that wants to steal your bacon. After the bacon has cooled down a little bit, and you've properly dealt with the thief, break it up into small pieces and drop them into the batter. You're going to want to stir it in every few pieces to see if you've added enough. Fun fact, it's never enough! Add more bacon! Then stir that in and add more bacon! Then stir that in and add more bacon! Again, stir that in too and add more bacon! There must be bacon! <clears throat> Fire the burner up to 11 and drop some butter in a pan. Give the butter a minute or so to melt a little bit first. Bring the burner down to low and plop a spoonful of batter down. Two tablespoons of batter will make one nice pancake. Spread the batter around so it rests flat. You don't want more batter in the center, otherwise it won't cook right. After a few minutes, look to see if air holes are popping up through the pancake. This means that it's ready to be flipped. Get underneath the pancake as much as you can for a good flip. Otherwise you might throw it somewhere you don't want it to go. After a few more minutes, get those suckers onto a plate. Place a little more butter on top and get out the syrup. This part is up to interpretation. Use as little or as much as you like. Maybe let the butter melt a little too and you're set. Melting. And that's how you make my bacon blueberry pancakes. I cannot wait to try these, they look really good. This has been Quarantine Kitchen. I am your host, Paul Desmond. For more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face right here. Thank you so much, see you next time.